Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janice, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I haven't talked about here on the channel yet. And yeah, this is actually one of those things that fits in well with my channel because as you know, I am a dad and I do have to be more responsible when it comes to cleaning the house. So what we have here today is the Tinico or Tyneco A10 Dash. So this was sent to me by the company, but don't worry, I'll be telling you everything that I know and have experience with this. But as usual, here's a quick unboxing just so you guys would know what's included in the package. So this is the main device or what you call the heart and soul of the whole vacuum cleaner. So this has been really what we use here in the household. And as you see, it's a little bit dirty. So design wise, it's pretty much what you've seen from cordless vacuum cleaners. This is only my second cordless vacuum cleaner. I do have a cheap one and I'll show you what it looks like later on in the video. It doesn't compare to this. This one is definitely a dream to use. Now I know there are other expensive vacuum cleaners out there, but I haven't tried those. So bear with me. This is my, you know, noob experience when it comes to vacuum cleaners. But yeah, one thing that I love about this is that it has this lock on trigger. So you don't really have to keep pressing this trigger right here. You can just let go and just lock it on and it will run just like that so because I'm a guy who doesn't read manuals too much I didn't know how to take this to a higher level it doesn't seem to be a different level it's just one level and that's it but then I realized that they do have this label right here it says max when you have this turned on and you press max that is how you switch to level 2 or the maximum level but anyway let's move on to other features on this vacuum cleaner and why you should consider this so as you can see obviously this is a cordless vacuum cleaner which means this has battery and this is rechargeable now when it comes to operating time you can actually use this for about 30 minutes just using the first level now if you would use the maximum power level I would assume you would go about 20 minutes because it does take more power now they are advertising this as an ultra quiet vacuum cleaner so this is the sound this is level one go to level two this is level two can you guys hear me over the noise of the vacuum cleaner I'm not sure uh, and this is not gonna be an accurate sound test for you guys just you know just to give you an idea of how loud this is and all things considered it's not wait let me just stop this all right so all things considered it's not really as loud as most vacuum cleaners are. It does stay true to its claim that it's an ultra quiet design. It's not something that would disturb someone who's sleeping, for example, inside of a bedroom. If you are cleaning in the hallway, this won't be bothersome for them. Another thing that I love about this is that it's so powerful as compared to one of my cheap vacuum cleaners here that I got from a Lazada sale. Let me show you. So here's a quick sample of that power. Yeah, what you'll see is that my cheap or knockoff vacuum cleaner can't even pull even a case. It can't even hold something like this. It's so light. This one 
It's such a breeze and it can even try to hold something as heavy as a controller. That is where you'll see, you know, the value in the money that you pay for something like this versus a ripoff. So definitely put that into consideration when you're getting a cordless vacuum cleaner for your house. All right, so this one also has a four stage fully sealed HEPA filter. So this filtration system will supposedly remove 99.97% of allergens as small as 0.3 microns. And it supposedly expels fresh air right here as well. So this is the HEPA filter. So it pulls the air from this part and then clean air supposedly comes out over here. What you'll see here is the clear case, which they call as the cyclone system, where they separate the large particles. And then you have the mesh filter inside. So this filter is supposedly the one that blocks hair and dust. And look at that. That is definitely true. There are tons of hair there. And then they also have this pre-filter. This one takes care of the fine dust. So as you can see, there are tons of dust in there as well. There is a label here that says you need to replace this in just half a year. All right, so yeah, that is the filtration system for the Tinico A10 Dash. Another nice feature of this vacuum cleaner is that it's lightweight. At only 1.25 kilograms, this is lighter than your average vacuum cleaner. You're still gonna feel it in your arm as what my wife experienced. Now, this also comes with a wall bracket where you can just hang it on after cleaning. So it's pretty convenient. So this one is the multi-floor brush. This one has an LED right here. So it helps you to see what's in front of you when you're cleaning, when there's not much light, especially if you are trying to reach, hard to reach areas like underneath the table. I also like that it's so easy to detach this roller right here. And it has soft bristles and I know this is dirty, but you know, I'm gonna be washing my hands afterwards. It's so easy to clean this up because again, you can just easily insert it like so. And then you can just put it back right there. And then it also has some soft brush right there. You can see there's a lot of dirt there already. And yeah, you definitely need to clean this too, you know, after every use perhaps if you can, but if not, just clean it regularly because from time to time there will be some hair that's gonna get stuck on this roller right here as you can see from this footage so this is just one of its attachments there are other two attachments as well I've already shown you this one this one has the very long nozzle right here so this is what you can use for very thin corners I guess it's very convenient to use this one and this also comes with another attachment. This other attachment has a brush on it. I guess if you have like surfaces with dust particles that, you know, got stuck on it, then it can help in dislodging those dust particles first before you clean them up. Another thing that I really appreciate about the A10 Dash is how easy it is to clean this up. I mean, to dispose of what's inside of this. So you just have this one button right here, and then you can easily drop off all of the dirt that's inside this in the trash. So, so convenient. You do have to clean this filter right here. You can wash it off. And as well as this one, you can brush this off. But it's so easy to clean this. And yeah, the inside is also something that you should clean regularly as well, just to, you know, maintain it properly. All right, so are there any downsides to getting a vacuum cleaner such as this one well of course uh, there is some extra expenses after the fact that you bought this you'll have to replace the filters from time to time but i believe it's not too expensive but again you must take note that that's additional cost if ever you're getting something like this one now one thing that you should also note of is that the battery is non-removable so if ever you're going to be using this in a huge household then I suggest that you do it in installments. It's only gonna last you for about 25 to 30 minutes when you're using this. And it doesn't charge too fast. I think I was charging for about two hours. You know, if I had one arch rival in life, I would think it would be dust. I really hate dust. 
and there's tons of them here in the household i can't seem to get rid of them maybe that's because we also live in an area where there's a lot of construction going on so it's kind of unavoidable but yeah, I hate it. So having something like this in the household is a lifesaver. I really love this. And at only 7,899 pesos, this is definitely something that I can highly recommend for people who live in a condo, who just want to maintain that really clean condo life or apartment life. It's a little bit expensive than your usual knockoff vacuum cleaners, but it's definitely more effective. This has more power than your knockoffs as you've seen in my test. And if you guys want to get one, I leave all of the links in the description box. So yeah, that's my take on the Tinico A10 Dash. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you know the drill. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.